guys and welcome back to NBA 2K23. This is part three of our My Player career and we have some big changes. We, we have really morphed, we have changed, and we have completely started a new character. Now don't worry, I, I've played through to get us back up to where we were in the last two episodes, but to be honest, I just, I didn't really like our build that we started with and I felt like if there was any time that we were going to be able to change it, now would be the time. Now, I do feel like I'm going to make some other builds for Park and Wreck and things like that, but I just wanted to switch up our, our main character here. So we started with this two-way diamond sharpshooter. He was 6'8", 228, 7 foot 1 wingspan, and I, I liked where we were going with that, but I got to be honest, the build was kind of trash. So I've, I've balanced it a bit, and now we are a 3 and D two guard which is exactly what i wanted in the first place like I, I i said i wanted to focus on shooting particularly the three but i also wanted to play some lockdown defense and that is exactly what we are here so our first change is we've dropped our weight a little bit we've lost 20 pounds we've hit the gym we are a little bit light for our weight and i do miss that weight a little bit i have noticed it's a little bit tougher to get rebounds now we also dropped our wingspan by one inch, which is going to help out with our shooting. This right here is our new super build. And to be honest, I, I mean, I, I I took some time with this. I, I really, really put some thought into this one. And I feel like that's part of the problem. My first build, like I was just excited to have the game. I kind of knew what I wanted to do. I was throwing some, some attributes down and then we just kind of ran with it. This, I actually took some thought and consideration in and, and really kind of thought about it. And so I feel like... This is going to be a pretty, pretty solid build here. Now, I've got our comparisons up, old versus new. First thing you want to take a look at are the badges. Obviously, badges are, you know, some of the, the biggest game changers in this game. So, we're a little bit better balanced here. We've got nine potential badges on finishing, 24 on shooting, 20 on playmaking, and 23 on rebounding. So, our, our close range finishing is a little bit better. And although I'm not meaning to be a driving guard... Obviously, you're still in that position a lot when you're on the fast break and things like that. Like, you're going to have some close range opportunities. So, being at 70 and 85 is a lot better than 60 and 56. Shooting is where one of my biggest mistakes was. I put way too many attribute points into a free throw shooter. I have no clue what I was doing. We aren't going to shoot that many free throws. And you don't need a 97 free throw rating. That was just dumb. Because we dropped the, the inch on our wingspan, we were able to get a 93 point. I just like the 90. I like being up in the 90s. So, we've got that. Our mid range is taking a small hit. But again, I want to focus on the three. And we've still got a 70 free throw. So, a 70 free throw, we should be able to stay pretty consistent. Hopefully, it holds up. And again, Again, free throws don't really matter. Playmaking, obviously pass accuracy is still a major focus here. Ball handle, again, is a major focus, still about the same. I have increased our speed with ball, and if you cheat ahead and look down at speed, that's why. I really missed speed, and as a guard, you need speed. In my original build, I was thinking, hey, we don't really need speed because we're not going to be driving, you know, some fast breaks, but it's not the most important thing in the world. It's still so important though, dude. As a guard, just speed to be able to pop off a pick and be able to put a shot up. Speed to be able to keep up with a defender. We were getting drove by quite a few times. Speed to be able to get back on defense. Speed to be able to run to that rebound. That kind of thing. Speed is really, really important. So I put a lot of focus on speed in this build. Moving on, our defense and rebounding. About the same. They took a small hit on interior defense, but that's not that big of a deal. Steals a little bit better. Block is about the same. Offensive rebound is less. I feel like as a shooting guard that's focusing on the three, we're just not going to have as many offensive board opportunities. And then finally for physicals, physicals are way better. We've got way more speed. We've got better acceleration. We've got better strength. We've got a slightly better vertical and we've got better stamina. If you look at the two, they're, they're similar. We've just traded off free throws and rebounding for speed, stamina, acceleration, and better shooting. And I, I feel like this new version is essentially what we were going for, just an upgraded one. So um, let's get into it. Hopefully you guys are cool with that. I mean, I, I would imagine you will be. I think there's going to be a lot more exciting build to watch. I think it's going to be, you know, faster. We're going to be able to get into more action, make more plays and things. And I feel like... For park and rec and stuff, it is going to be a little bit better. Again, I, I think we might need to make some some crazier, more distinct builds for park and rec and stuff. And 
I've been talking to some friends. We're trying to figure out what our team's going to be and where people are going to fit and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm hoping to bring more of that to you guys. But this is going to be our main character going forward. So first and foremost, we did unlock a, a badge. And it's it's cool. So I, I went through. I played us up to the exact spot where we last left off last episode. I put about the same number of points, assists, and steals on everything. So we should be around in the same realm. And um, we had unlocked a, a shooting badge on that build, and we've got a shooting badge on this build. So our first badge, where do we want to put this? I got to be honest, this one's pretty good. After a player has taken a small handful of shots, an additional boost shot attributes is given for every subsequent shot, whether it's a make or a miss. So when I get in those moods where I'm just tossing it up, it's going to be giving us better bonuses. Comeback kid is for when we're losing. Ooh, that's pretty good too. I'm going to go comeback kid. We're going to go with the bronze comeback kid. First order of business is down. Second order of business is going to be to get a tattoo. You guys know how it goes. Hey, we always get inked up for important moments of our career. And, and typically in previous years, we've always done a tattoo for our first game and for our new team. I feel like we also need a tat for a new beginning because this is a new a new body we've got they only have sleeves here dude that is sick they only have sleeves here at tattoo envy okay i i might i might have to wait on this good thing there's another tattoo shop around the corner i'm not trying to get you know full sleeve right off the bat we might be able to take a look at that someday but for right now just trying to dip my toes in casually this is more my speed all right here we go welcome i remember you okay the hornet tattoo i, I was gonna say i feel like I, I don't really love the idea of just a straight up logo but the hornet tattoo is is pretty pretty dope for of these options and i'm gonna say you know hands folded in prayer you know prayers that we made the right decision to change up our uh our everything up until this point so here we go where do we want to put the hornet I feel like the Hornet's kind of lame, but we're, we're going to keep it. Might get it on the back side of my right arm. I feel like that's kind of kind of interesting. Can't really see it from the front, but it's there. It can kind of serve as the, the start to our sleeve. I kind of like a calf a calf tat here. We could put it under so they're, they're poking out of the sock. Oh, that's actually pretty dope. 1500 VC. We're in it, baby. Oh, you can't even see it over the mid calves that we've got. Well, you could kind of see the tips of the fingers. All right, that works. I think I'm going to go say what's up to Jake from State Farm. This should be interesting. Is Jake going to be over here? State Farm's over in the, the West Mall. Hey, what up, Jake? Hey, he's killing it. He's out here dancing. How you doing, man? Hey, MP. Oh. And what's going on? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Jake from State Farm? Oh, you know I am. Oh, <laughs> what's going on, man? What you... What you doing here? Oh, I'm just doing some Jake from State Farm I things. See it, I dig it, I dig it. <laughs> yeah. Listen, I'm excited to meet you, man. I'm a big fan. Oh, man, That's cool. No, no, no. I mean it. You're like one of my favorite college players of all time. Yeah. That's major, bro. Yeah. That's love right there. Yeah, I appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And now that you've fallen in the city, I mean, practically neighbors. Oh, I see what you did there, though. Yeah, I see what you did there. That was smooth. Like a Listen, good neighbor? Bro, if you need anything, State Farm is there. Like a good neighbor? State Farm is there. Stop playing. Time out. Y'all see this? I know y'all see this right now. <laughs> they need to pay him State more. Farm. Nah, they're used to this right now. Oh, <laughs> man. <laughs> Yo, my man. It's a pleasure to meet you, man. Seriously. Likewise. Likewise. Hey, I'll see you around. I'm going to see you around, man. For real. Let me know if you need anything. For sure. I got you. All right. I'm trying to get some insurance coverage, man. Okay. Kind of a cool cameo. All right. Let's get back to our main missions. What up, Rick? You good? Hey, uh, yeah, I just got off the phone with Othello Ockham's assistant, and, uh, the big boss man wants to see you. What about? I mean, he's not one of those super hands-on GMs, is he? Nah, I mean, that's not really his reputation. Oh, no. So... Honestly, I don't know what this is about, man. I mean, I tried to press his assistant for some more info, but all he told me was that Coach Graves will be there, too. We're either getting a starting spot or we're um, in trouble okay. for our last game. Something about this feels off. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. You got any advice? Go in there with an open mind. See what they want to talk about and come back here and we'll talk about it. All right. Bet. 
It's going to be good news. It's got to be. We played pretty well last last game. Please tell me we got good news. There's a lot of brown shirts in here. That's not a good sign. Please tell me we got good news. Hey, Come on, Hi, Olive. How are you? Well, I can't complain. A little nervous, but I can't complain. Uh, it looks like you're with Mr. Akpem today. Yeah. Uh, where is he again? Same floor as Mr. Novak. Okay. Uh, you got any advice for me? On talking to Mr. Akpem? Yeah, well, you, you, you've been working here for some time, you know. Oh, I don't really know him like that. Um, but you're a smart guy. I'm sure you're going to be fine. How do you know I'm a smart guy, though? <laughs> I can read people, and you're smart. Cool. Thank you, but uh, okay. So what number am I thinking of? Ma'am, I have a girlfriend. I said I could read people. I'm not psychic. I, it's it's kind of the same difference, a little bit. It's a little different. <laughs> Aren't you going to be late for your meeting? <laughs> I probably will be. Um, same elevator as usual? Yes, they haven't moved. Yeah, right. <laughs> Okay, well, I actually nice really love you. these. Uh, I'll see you later. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you for just, uh, you know, chatting, but not giving me any sort of useful information. Just not going to tell us what he likes to talk about, what we should expect, anything like that. Oh, MP. shoot. Come on in. Take a seat. What's up, MP? Coach Graves. <laughs> it's the Ock Pim. What did I tell you about that? Othella, please. Othella? I mean, my bad. You got it. So... About Shep. Oh, okay. Oh, you too. Now just listen. We knew the PR hit we take for picking you over him. But that's all just outside noise. Inside these walls, all we care about is ball. All right. Well, I'm willing to put in the work. On and off the court. So whatever it takes. I actually spoke to Freddie Novak. You talked uh, to Freddie. Did I do something wrong by talking to Freddie? Freddie's a nice guy. I like him. But all this stuff about controlling your own narrative. You're a ball player, not a politician. We put together a very specific game plan. Prove it on the court. You hit these goals, you're in the starting lineup. Simple as that. Really? Okay. So, objective is to play five games, get 60 points, assists, rebounds, blocks, and steals combined. That is the easiest. Okay, Freddie made it seem like I had to do a bunch of PR stuff just to get my shot with the start. That's flat out wrong. This Shep stuff has nothing, I repeat, nothing to do with your playing time. I want you to focus on your craft, not this PR stuff. Am I clear? Crystal clear. Good. I don't need to keep you. But if you ever want to talk, or if Freddie gives you a hard time, whatever. My door is always open. I don't like that we've got some office drama here. And Thank we're in the middle of it. Othella. Don't mention it. Othella. It's going to be putting in the work. See you, coach. So this is great news. That's exactly what we wanted to hear. Hit a very easy list of goals and we're going to have a starting spot. <laughs> Sounds good, Jerry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll link up with you later, man. My man doesn't right, stop working. One. Yo, you, you want me to come back? No, 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 you good, you good. You sure? Yeah, I just wanted to talk with you about your meeting with Othello. <sighs> to be honest with you, man, uh, I'm a little confused. <laughs> yeah, I thought you might say that. Yeah. So you know something? Man, I'm all over it. So what's your take on it then, man? And one ear, I got Freddy step tell me one thing, and the other I have Othello basically forbidding me to talking to Freddy. Oh, well, he forbid you? Well, not exactly, but he's not happy that I'm talking to him. I mean, the thing is, you know, when you're over the fans, I'm all for. It is my thing. It's a great idea. It's well researched. But Rick, man, I'm a ball player. If it's me stepping on people's toes, I'm not for it. Like, I don't want to make the coach not an influencer. Angry. That's not gonna happen. All right. So what's the plan, man? Well, first of all, relax. All right, everything's fine, man. It's just a little palace entry. That's palace all. entry. All right, sure. Look, your president of basketball ops, Phil Boyer, mm -hmm. he's feeling the heat right now. He underestimated the PR hit that he would take by drafting you while Shep is still on the board. And optics, for better or worse, are very important for a man in his position. Yeah, I mean, he's got a career to consider, so I get it. Okay, so if you take this whole thing seriously, it'll do a great deal of getting you ahead. Mm, okay. Like I said, I, I'm down for whatever. Just say the word. All right, that's good. That's good. But meanwhile, you still got Othello Akpem thinking that Freddy's some existential threat. A threat? Yeah. Yo, bro, what is he, like, angling for his job? Dude is in marketing, man. I don't know. <laughs> Stranger things have happened, man. Wow. Uh, I don't know. Dude seemed pretty straightforward to me. I mean, that was my read, too. But, I mean, that don't mean Othello's not worried. Look, the way he sees it, Phil's legacy is tied to you. Which means that Freddie's got his ear because you come with a lot of media baggage. Okay, again, that part makes sense. Okay, plus you got the whole data-driven angle. 
You gotta remember, Othello's old school, like a real yeah. scouts and chalkboards type. Yeah. Thinks that anybody with a computer's trying to push him out the lead. <laughs> right. <laughs> all right, so all I'm saying is you just gotta, you gotta walk a real fine line here, man. I mean, goes without saying, you have to perform. Of course. You know, the, the funny thing is, that does not seem to be the focus right now at all. Like, I mean, you want the money, right? Hey, hey. Then this all comes with it. Hey, I ain't complaining. <laughs> I just think it's funny, man. <laughs> Look, all this means is that we got to be delicate, all right? So instead of launching this, you know, full-on PR blitz, probably on the lines of what Freddie would want, mm -hmm. let's dip our toes in this whole plan to win over the fans. I think I know what you're saying. Mm -hmm. You want slow play. Slow play, <clears> exactly. All right. It's not like we won't do nothing. We'll just ease into it. We'll poor play. Keep Othello and Freddie happy, which keeps Phil happy. Okay. Which makes us one big, happy, slightly dysfunctional family. Okay, okay, okay. I can... <laughs> That's good advice. Sense now. Um, so when we start, man. Well, Mila and Ashley are running point on this, so I'm sure they'll hit you up when they got something to say. Yo, let them know whenever, wherever, it don't matter. I'm there. I'm your guy. Okay, Let's get it. okay, I get it. <laughs> Look, in the meantime, you just focus on ball, all right? Hit the goals that Othello and Coach G gave you. Win some games, maybe, and we're gonna be golden. Win some games. I'm just saying. Hey, that ain't no issue. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think it was gonna be. <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> All right, get out there, man. Dude, this is so good. There, there's so much going on outside of just playing games here. I love it. All right, speaking of playing games, I think it's about time. We got all suited and booted for our first game, you know, dressed to the nines, trying to make a nice impression. Now, today, your boy is all. <clears throat> Hello? Y'all, I was going to say I'm all about that business. Nobody cares. Um, okay. Well, again, I'm, I'm all about the business, baby. Swap into the uniform and let's get out there. Let's go shoot around a little bit, get the, the jumper warmed up and get ready to win this ball. I can't believe we just walked the thing and nobody took a picture. I would think people would be more apt to take a picture if we're showing up in sweatpants and stuff. All right, we're, we're going to have to start showing out every game going forward. The problem is, right now, I feel like all the shops are kind of empty. I don't know if there's going to be an update coming out here soon. But um, it's kind of hard to hard to pick crazy stuff when there's there's nothing to choose from. Like, I, I, I want to get wild with it. And we just can't right now. Ooh. Jumper's looking nice today. Try a three. Bam. All right, we are, we are on it. Here we go. Game time. Here we go, baby, coming in. Looks like we've got two minutes and 23 seconds left in the first, and we are down by eight points. So uh, our our first game, we can't have a, a repeat performance first of our first game. We need to play a little bit safer, a little bit smarter, so focus on the defense. You guys will notice and this is your first Ingram. time seeing the increased speed. Good D. I did not mean to pass that back. Mello. Back. Beautiful. We definitely aren't as, as big. Like, we, we don't have as much force in, in you know, under the basket and things. And I, I did notice in our first couple of games I wasn't getting quite as many rebounds. But to be honest, I feel like we have way, way more opportunities. There it is. And we've got a better three-point shot now, only by one point, so it's not that big of a deal. But um, I just I feel like our, our speed is, is more important than that extra 20 pounds. Little pick and roll, pick and roll. Here we go. Might be able to take that. Oh, we've got a little bit better finishing underneath, too. I don't want to do too, too much driving because we aren't that good at it. I thought we were going to be able to go up and under him right there. Good pull up. Wasn't able to get it. Let's go. Kick it to LaMelo. Little drive. Oh, he had us. Here we go. Were we behind the line? Was our foot on the line? That's a three. Another one. Let's go. That's a tie ball game. We came in and just got it done, baby. Got it done. Now your boy's going to play some good defense. Yeah, pick up that ball. Let me get this read. Ooh. See, some of those normally I would have got. This one inch reach advantage and a little bit more weight to throw around but we're looking all right run me a little play here bud run me a little play Ooh. little bit of a late release but hey we still got it wide open they're gonna shoot a couple here we got a three-point lead dude feeling pretty good i don't know coach i'm putting in a pretty solid performance tonight pretty solid look at our uh plead for a starting spot dude, this court is so sick i love the geometric squares 
Oh, you should have drove right there, man. Here's Martin. Blood show outside. Back to Martin. Get it down to the big man. Try a little drive. Low give and go. There it is. A minus teammate grade. That's exactly where we want to be. See if we can keep this up. Oof. Good D. Come on. Give me the ball. McCollum against Martin. Dish it off when you need it. Let's go. Another assist. All right. This is a great game. This We're, we're playing super smart. Playing super just chill. Not try to force anything. 15 points, one rebound, one assist. Oh, get down there with the big boys. Got a rebound. Let's go. Kick it. And that's an assist. See, it's, it's kind of nice now. We're not stuck in the mud. We're not just trudging through it. Slowly making our way back down the court. I mean, we're not speedy. I wouldn't say we're super fast, but we we can move. We can stay with the pace of the game. There's not many people. See, like, look at that. I ooh. Granted, I I overextended a little bit on the defense there, but I wouldn't have been able to get through that pick before. I would have been too slow. Jabberwockies as our halftime show again. But yeah. It, I feel like it's opened up quite a few opportunities, even though we've lost a few. Everything's a trade-off. That's one thing they did really, really well this year is, is making sure that there's a yin for every yang. Come around here. And like that. Give me a screen. He can do just about everything. Oh, that was nasty and the green light, dude. Just a little. Ugh. I think it might be time to go up a difficulty again. I just like this build so much better, dude. Thought we were going to have a space there. Little pick and roll. Got the rebound. Your boy does it all. I probably should have passed that off, but we got a decent finish now, too. Oh. Dang it. We have both of our, our takeovers ready too, and I was about to I was about to launch a just barrage of threes at the end of that half, but uh, lost them there. All right. So at the half, 20 points, two assists, three rebounds, four for four from behind the arc. A teammate grade, just a heck of a game. So we're gonna be coming back in a third quarter, 326 left. We've still got a bit of this lead left, so it looks like we just kinda had a, a slow first quarter as a team, and we've been Killing it ever since. Zion at the line. He's going to make that. Here we go. See what we got. That Martin LaMelo combo coming right up. Nope. We'll take that too. Oh my goodness, dude. That is nasty. LaMelo to Mason. Oh. Control. Love that right there. The staff here, yeah, this this is just an absolute perfect. slaughter. Really good possession. Ball, the pass to Martin. And it's the just keep rubbing it in. There it is. Ball to Martin. Ball to Martin. Hopefully we have a lot more of that coming up. I want to I, I want to come off those screens and, and just work the key like that all day long with them. That's what I get for trying to have some help side D. Every single time. I just, I'm going to start sticking on my man, dude. For your teammate grade's sake, it's it's not worth doing anything else. Oh, we're going to be able to have another look there. Back at me. Just good ball movement right there. Good fundamental basketball. Take this up myself. Let's run a, a play. Can I not run plays? I don't think I have the ability to run plays. But I'll find the open man, though. Woo, good drive. And here's Ingram from the arc. Ooh. And another three. Eliminate the ball to score. He's a sharp shooter who's very efficient. Good. In offensive game. Good pass, baby. I didn't even call for that. I just started cutting to the basket and he hit us. He's got a bright, bright, bright career ahead of him. No doubt about that. Such an exciting player to watch. So excited to see where it goes. Alan Judas with a screen on Bloodsaw. Shoot. I tried to lean over and, and you know, poke a little steal out right there, and it, it just didn't work out. Oh, my God. 
that's why you have speed. Just little misdirections, get right through them. So we're going to sit down at the end of the third there, and I'm assuming we're probably going to sit most of this quarter. We're going to come back in with two minutes left. We're 100% from the floor today, dude. Oh, my goodness. So I, I did figure it out. That very first game that we played, the um, the what's it called? The, the Summer League Championship game. I guess that's rookie difficulty for everyone. I had it set on pro as, as like the default difficulty, but I, I think it goes to rookie for that game. That's why it was so easy and we shot 100%. We're on all pro now, and we're still shooting 100% today, so that's a bit more... So a bit more legit. And the officials call we'll take it. Hornets. I'm gonna sit back down again. I'm not sure. I'm not sure why he even put us in. That's gonna be the game. All right. We won by 14. We were 100% from the floor today. 100%. Didn't miss a shot. Perfect. And our second NBA game. Crowd is just going absolutely nuts. You can see the sweat on Zion's biceps. Man's just got dominated. All right, we're going to have to up up the ante one. We're going to keep going up until it, it makes sense. I want to be at a spot where we can have breakout games like this. I feel like shooting 100% is a bit ridiculous. 29 points, 4 rebounds, 4 assists. That is just a nasty game. I would love to see what Mr. White, the, the tough post-game interviewer, I want to see what he has to say. I'm ready to just dip my... <clears throat> oh, hey, ladies. Thank, thank you for clapping. I was just going to say something pretty inappropriate there. I, I can't wait to dip my, uh, you know, I don't even know a, a good secondary word for it, but I, I'm, I'm going to dip him in his mouth. Press? No. Uh, I got to show you something. So good. It, Watch this. It wasn't needed. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's MP stand for anyway? Sounds like a phone to me. Y'all got that MP29? That, that Nokia joint? No, 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 no. I, I think it stands for mostly pathetic. No, no, no. no. God, I hate Major that. Major poser. <laughs> Missed the point. <laughs> oh, oh, that's pretty good. Oh, <laughs> yo, why is that so funny, though? I think it's because she's an agent. Usually they're not funny, they're just suits. But this agent, she's very funny. Oh, yeah. They're supposed to be friends with everybody. You know what I mean? That's kind of their deal. Right. That right? is my deal. I'm either your friend or your worst enemy, and Ooh. nothing in between. I don't like her. You still salty Ricky Bennett didn't join your agency, Barbara? Oh, come on now. I was just trying to help a brother out. It's not my fault that he doesn't understand the rules of the game. Oh, Shep, you know, I got a serious question for you. Um, uh, what? Why can't you be more of a leader <laughs> like MP? <laughs> what are you going to be so gosh darn selfish all the time, <laughs> P? Man, anyone looking up to that bum now? Good luck leading a team when you buried on the bench. Ooh, oh. <laughs> but you know who I really feel sorry for? Like, Ooh. honestly, his girl. Oh, <laughs> all these NBA right. players. She stuck with that clown? I mean, realistically, man, he probably got a whole closet full of cardigans and pleated khakis. <laughs> Bro, no, he's Speaking not. Of. Speaking of, yo, Mila, your boy's single. Hit me up if you ever want to see what it's like to be with a real man. <laughs> Yeah. I am not touching that one. Look, this episode is going to do numbers, bro. Was there ever any doubt? <laughs> hey, 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 Chef, any final words you want to say to MP? You know, before the camera dies, because we're making this fire content right now. Come yeah, on. yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, I just want to say, your game's trash, oh, oh. your agent's trash, mm. your girl's trash, mm. and you're trash. Mm. <laughs> Did I forget anything? Girl, agent, no. <laughs> I think you got that covered, buddy. And the mm. next time I see you, I'm going to tell you that to your face. Other than that, you know, uh, just... Wishing you many blessings, brother. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That's real classy. Why would he even mention me? Because he's Shep. Does he need a reason? Yeah, no, he does not. Clown. Look, this means nothing. It's just some loud mouth being a loud mouth. But you do have that Top Takes Daily interview tomorrow. Oof. And they are absolutely going to want to ask about this, given yeah, how I inflammatory it was. Like I said, it's just, it's. It's no big deal. It's just noise. It is no big Let it go, deal. Bro. We are going to obviously need to strategize your response, okay? So meet me at the business hub after you finished up here, and we'll go over whatever it is we need to go over. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate you, Ash. Always keep me in the loop no matter how painful it is. Thank you. Come on, man. You just had the game of your life. But, yeah. See you in a bit. Don't get all up in your feelings. All right, we got a, a locker room scrum, I believe. Shep Owens issues a truly blistering takedown. Oh my God, dude, our phone is blowing up. 
blowing up. Let me let me check social. MP has to retire now. There's no recovering from this. Is MP really going to let Shop Shep talk that way about his girl? This dude is embarrassing. Shep Owens issues a truly blistering takedown. You have to see my video to believe it. Man. Okay. Um, they should give Barbara Barry her own show. God, she is... They're, they're all miserable. They're all terrible. Can we still go to the locker? I think we did that out of order. I think I was following the yellow... The yellow... Oh, locker room scrum. Nate White. Great game tonight. You really had to work on the offensive end. So this is the one that's supposed to be tough to talk to. Um, I was just trying to stay aggressive. Yeah, you know what I mean? I was just trying to stay aggressive. You know, my teammates were looking for me on the offensive end. And I just tried to take advantage, look for my shot, and stay hungry on the end of the court. Do you see yourself as the go-to player on this team? Come on, man. You know I do, man. But not because I have a big ego, but because, you know, someone needs to step up and take those big shots. I mean, I wouldn't I say that. to take responsibility. Great. Thanks, man. Wow. So he he's he, he's sipping the Kool-Aid now. I'm going to say uh, Candace Green. Well, you guys played really talk to her well yet. for all four quarters tonight. What was the key to putting together a complete performance? Hmm. Yeah, it sounds simple, but like sometimes the key is just making shots. You know, this game is a lot easier when the ball is going through the hoop. It's not like it was tonight. Ball early and I just started to flip from there. My teammates started to look for me and I was able to get it done. <laughs> yes, you were. I mean, that was one of the most impressive scoring nights of your rookie season so far. Do you feel like you're figuring out this league? Thanks, Candace. Listen, I, I didn't even know how many points I had. I don't know about figuring things out. This league will humble you real fast if you let it. <laughs> I'm just trying to grind and just get better every day. I said. Right on. It's crazy yeah. how different each of these answers are. Like one, one is so wholesome and so real. The other ones are are not. So, um, I, I don't know, man. I gotta be honest. I I respect Shep. I, I like Shep. I, I think Shep's got this cringy TV show thing going on. He's just trying to make the most of it. He's he's playing up a personality. I think deep down, Shep isn't the worst guy. I hope he brings some more, uh, you know, excitement and, and competition to our game. I don't like his crew, though. The, the red-headed dude in his crew is not funny. He's frustrating. He's lame. He's... I, I, there's just something about it, dude. Such, such a punchable face. I don't really like his new agent either, but um, it's all right. Again, water under the bridge. We've got a TV interview tomorrow. We're working our way towards getting that starting spot. Things are looking up for us. We've got a new build, new body. We've been hitting the gym, lost 20 pounds, feeling good. Played the best basketball of our life. And you know what? I just realized. I'm going to get a flaming skull with a basketball as the skull. And we're going to put this on our right arm, on our hand. I don't think there's any other time that we would ever be able to get something like this. But, uh, man, that, that flick... Is on fire and it's it's deadly, that's for sure. So we're gonna go with something like this, kinda down the fingertips a little bit. Dude, that that's pretty nasty. I like that a lot, actually. Alright, go ahead and place that. Get inked. Worth it. This that was a memorable game. 29 points. Perfect, perfect, perfect from the floor. Had some rebounds and assists and things too. So well, we're getting inked up. We're starting to tell a story. I'll see you guys in the next one. Hopefully the good news keeps flowing.